Hi guys, I hope you're keeping well. Welcome to my turkey haul. I'm super excited to show you guys everything. So let's just get into the video. So one of the first things that I got, um, Zorlu Mall, I believe. I got some glasses. I got a set of these scooters. What are these? I got them. I got six each. They are wafer thin absolutely love the quality and i love the two colors i've been trying to find egg holders for a very long time they are super simple my most favorite purchase you guys oh my god it's a uh, turkish rice bulgur rice it is just so good it's so simple but so tasty and ami kept saying you know because uh, i wanted to buy like a lot of this rice but obviously each packet is a kilo i'm gonna cherish this they used to serve this with um barbecue so i just got two packets of bulgur rice one of my favorite uh, semi-precious stones is feroza it is super stunning so this is from a vintage market i absolutely love the style i find it very unique quality of this feroza and just the style at such a great price love this edition the next purchase one I'm just going to say favorite to everything, so I'm going to stop saying that these are my favorites, like, obviously, because I bought them. This I absolutely fell in love with. Um, this was from the Electric Concept Store in Bebek. Something happened to me. I just, I'm already obsessed with snake rings, but I got this. Everyone does, I feel like, snake rings in their own way, but this one really stood out. I love the texture of the snake on this. Cute little accessory the turkish boots i would say i really wanted a travel set i do have this but i did want a travel set size of clear jars for shampoos uh, conditioners etc and i really wanted this toothbrush holder one thing that you guys have seen me use previously but i really like the shape i ended up using one there uh, these are just like those face shavers for baby hair um, i use the blue one um, and this is a pink one i really like the shape i haven't seen it in this form ever so i got this tested it out and i actually love these i wish i had bought more a two uh, blackhead remover to try this out was hair food anything that has the word hydrating on it i will buy so i don't know i just thought that it's worth a try and it says it has no sulfates um so that was a big setting point as well turkish boots that i got was this eyebrow styling kit um i really like the tools that they have inside and if you can see they have a little eyebrow shaving thing as well just neaten the areas up um and i love that it's made from bamboo so in heels i absolutely love the height of these they are super comfortable and i'm as you guys might know from shop sister super into tie-ups so i love these just classic get and heel black tie-ups oh my god my one of my favorite purchases so i had two things in mind that i actually wanted to buy like i had set out that i'm gonna go to turkey and buy these um i've wanted these for quite some time and i'm so happy i got to buy these from turkey because the vat tax-free return on this was insane but super happy to introduce these Valenciaga glasses into my collection of sunglasses. I am totally obsessed. I've been seeing them everywhere. Wanted them for a long time. What is this? But yeah, I just actually just love the shape so much. And yeah, very, very grateful to be able to get these this next purchase because i am actually inshallah going to be introducing this in shop sister as well i'll be stocking and selling this turkish brand i fell in love with the salesperson there he's from afghanistan and as soon as we entered the shop me and i were just discussing like oh kya achai, like in urdu and talking about the price and stuff and then he started talking to us in urdu and then yeah we like just like caught up with him i don't know how to show this bag off properly if i'm not standing but such a cute purchase and i love that it has the evil eye on it there's a pocket at the back and the quality is honestly just phenomenal also this is the double flap size with vegan leather and a lot of pouches in between and a pouch here as well so super excited to style this and i love the fact that you can adjust the strap and make this super long as well you want an ASMR video? 
So I cannot pronounce the name of this brand, but Mehek um, Sayed, Mehek Sayed, the guru, uh, recommended uh, that I should visit the shop. Um, my mother was super tired at this point. This was in Zorlu Mall. So I was kind of rushing myself inside um, the store and there was a lot of uh, rush inside the store as well so I just quickly something and this also took like uh, by the way a lot of time to check out super into accessorizing so I actually bought two belts from this store I bought one and I got a Zara one I'll just show that to you but it's a super cute belt they pulled it out in my size I love the texture and this color as well cannot wait to start wearing and styling belts I saw this belt at Zara it's so nice this is that um how do i show it to you guys i feel like an air hostess like that stretchy material and it looks so stunning and i love the clunky gold finish with this jute texture two belts that i bought this trip there is a super cute shop called postman right next to galata tower and they have a collection of items made by locals around turkey um, the prices are phenomenal and it's like shopping for a cause. So this is actually a present for Remu. How cute is this little pouch? And it's basically a marker or a brush holder. So cute. I've already shown it to her so it's okay that I'm posting it here. Absolutely, absolutely fell in love with this and I'm going to see if I can get these made for you guys as well. So I've seen these in London quite a bit. Um, I had one that I used to use in university days but um I, this concept had totally slipped my mind i absolutely love the way that the way that they've packaged this it's an organic cotton i believe um or silk mix it's a blend feels like a blend of cotton and silk and this has lavender inside and this is basically an eye pouch it smells phenomenal and it's so so relaxing i'm super excited for this purchase just a simple t-shirt i was actually looking for stuff to buy from the shop because i really wanted to support them their initiative and their concept is beautiful it is like a concept store for the greater good um to my shopping from the grand bazaar harlem pants with pockets and just a simple high collared t-shirt super long this is a super cute bathrobe the material you guys i cannot explain how soft this is look at the sleeves so i just got a matching set of this with the beach towel thankfully one of the first shops that we saw was my favorite store and you guys it's crazy i haven't got an opportunity to talk about this on shop sister but even the brand that I started before, there was a brand that I had in mind, which was like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with this brand. I've always been a customer of um, the kind of brands that I have created. Well, now I can say I've created two. But at that time, I was a fan of a certain type of brand. And I was like, okay, this is our inspiration. For Shop Sister, my inspiration was Koss. It is, a, and you know what? My love for Koss goes back to university days when I didn't even know what I was going to do, but I used to save up money and I used to buy um, one article every two months from Koss because it was expensive. It was luxury fashion. However, it was so, what do you call it? Like it was conscious fashion, even at that time and minimal. It was plain, it was just about the fabric and the cut. And that's what I'm exactly what I'm trying to do with uh, Shop Sister as well. Abs, I've worn this in Turkey. I don't know if I put up pictures in it, but this is a beautiful knitwear, um, kind of high neck if you zip it up, but I love this style. These are just straight, um, somewhat baggy jeans. I absolutely love them and they're high waist. It's all about, it's such a simple cut, but it's all in the details, as in if you check the sleeve out. And secondly, I don't know how to show this to you guys. But do you guys notice the back? It's like there's a double flap to the sleeve. So once you wear it, the fall. I got from Koss is this black t-shirt. Um, it's just the material. I love v-neck. Yeah, I also wanted to compare it to Shop Sisters v-neck black t-shirt. Um, so I've just opened this up because I was waiting to. But like the same... These are like just basic design considerations that Shop Sister also has. And I'm so happy to see that cost does as well, um, which really adds to the comfort of any garment. It's this beautiful summer dress. I absolutely love, fell in love with this material. I'm going to, of course, be posting all of this. Simple sleeves. And it's a beautiful cream yellowish color. 
I have a weakness for white sneakers. I have a collection. Can you see that white section there? I collect white sneakers. Um, and no, I do not keep them white. I do like wear and tear on my white sneakers as well. So I haven't ever owned a pair of Vans. Um, so I just got these simple Vans. This is the men's design. Um, so I just got the men's size, which fits me. But I'm super happy with these. We're pretty much done. The only thing left is my makeup shopping. So I just went to MAC and I went to the one and only Sephora, even though I was disappointed in Turkey Sephora, most of them, maybe, I don't know, like it was sold, a lot of things were sold out, so I didn't find anything. From MAC, I just basically stopped, stocked up on the classic colors. Uh, this one, I'm just gonna, I don't even remember buying this. this is, it's called Mullet Over. I think this is a new shade that I bought to try. Okay, so this is a powder lipstick. I think this one I bought to try out and the Velvet Teddies and um, Honey Love and Kinda Sexy and the World Lip Liner are just like refills. The Fora haul, so the masks were for 20 liras each. I ended up buying, just again, restocking my mask section. Most of them are to hydrate your skin. Their travel size section, everything travel size automatically becomes cuter. I'm not that kind of person unless it's like i think in food in food that's kind of weird actually in food items i do like the giant nutella the giant tabasco but in makeup anything miniature is super cute and convenient especially since bag sizes are getting smaller and smaller travel size is becoming more and more essential i only found i guess one thing so, uh, travel size is this even travel size oh my god it's not even travel size i just went on a rant about travel size and I didn't even get anything. I did, I, I, I did get one thing. This is travel size, sorry, from her bigger palette. I got the ND highlighter and bronzer. Cute are we? And I actually don't remember buying two. Has my memory like just faded? Oh, sorry, I do remember buying two. I, I do. This is the one that I always buy, um, which is in a shade. It's in a pink shade. Let me just show it to you quickly. I had run out of this and I actually couldn't find this anywhere. Oh my god, I'm such a liar. <laughs> I don't even know what I bought. Okay, one second. Let's open everything up and figure out. So this is the one that I usually buy. Sorry guys. It has glitter and I couldn't find this anywhere. This is the Dior Maximizer. Lip Maximizer in a tint. Absolutely love this. And if you can see the sparkles in between super cute um this is the black one that i thought i initially got this is a new product that i was trying out from dior which is the lip maximizing serum so um i don't know let's i'm gonna review this soon but this is my go-to for lip plumping uh, my cousin had asked me to get her the easy bake powder from huda beauty um, I couldn't find her shade because they were stocked out. I found like a mini version, a baby bake for her. For me, I'm excited to try this out. I got this in the shade Cupcake. Skincare from Sephora, other than those masks, I got two products from Glam Glow Hydrating Moisturizer. And this is the super smooth five minute mask, which is which acts like a scrub. I'm convinced into buying this product. And before I come to this, it's because I always um, buy from Clinique. I love their foundations, which are hard to find here. Locking up on my Clinique foundations. This one I'm trying out. Um, this has more coverage. This is the formula that I always go for. Um, so when he was trying it on the makeup artist, he said, you have really dry skin. I was like, yeah, it's okay. I use like um, moisturizer. And I actually, I wanted to do research on more lip tints. You tried the side by benefit. So got this um, skin powder, perfecting powder look at the function and that brings us to the end of the haul a couple of other things i bought which were like home decoration i've already posted out my story the tax return definitely save all your receipts and also download the tax free app where once you enter your passport number while shopping all you have to do is show that app that barcode and your vat will be done automatically so this really um, smooths out the process i only had to wait 10 to 15 minutes maximum at my vat uh, counter and and everything was processed super seamlessly so i hope you guys um take care and visit turkey soon and visit all these shops they're not going to be doing a haul anytime soon bye